but community is so important. It can just change your mindset instantly when you're actually surrounded by incredibly powerful in a way like with that positivity you know when you're when you're yeah. surrounded by people like that so yeah oh, community that. community oh man if you have the right people around you like you can never be unhappy for a day like it's just it changes your life completely and i'm so thankful for bobby i'm thankful for ronnie i'm thankful for there's a couple of friends raquel and joey i have a handful of my group that i love and they've mm. just been there with me ever since the bloody beginning you know well and they say your vibe attracts your tribe so that shows how much work you did inside because that's what you were putting out into the universe and these are the people you attracted you attracted ronnie like let's not get it twisted yeah. here oh yeah i definitely i'll take that i definitely attracted <laughs> him and he and uh, we both wanted to get sober together so he helped me get off drinking i stopped vaping i end up going to the gym and eating healthy and Look he's just you. such a good influence on me, so He's a fucking dreamboat. I'm uh, like, I fucking love you, dude. Can, can, can you um clone clone Ronnie for me? Like, or, oh yeah, or... I got you. That's, <laughs> yeah, you know what? Like, let's see. What are these bandmates think? They're all very sweet. <laughs> well, you know, I've been sober over a year now. I Congratulations. Feel, oh, thank you, and you as well. And you know, people ask me from time to time, like, why don't you drink? Like, what's the deal? And my honest answer, it took me almost a year and a half to get the answer, but I just really feel like I'm not running from anything anymore. And it's more myself. Uh, like, oh, I got, got chills. <laughs> That's, I got chills. I, it's yeah. truly nothing good in my life ever happened when I was drinking. Ever. Preach, yes. <laughs> Yes. Oh. I never thought I could be a sober person. And it's not even like I was in a binge. Well, I could binge drink, but it was more just like consistency. And when you're in mm -hmm. this line of work, you don't have normal hours. You don't hang around normal people. Mm -hmm. So drinking culture is different. Plus, I've been a firefighter for 10 years. Drinking culture is different with that. It's just more mm -hmm. acceptable. And it shouldn't be as acceptable as we make it. Having two, three glasses of wine, a bottle of wine every day is not normal is not good no, for you. No, it's not normal. And I, I said this before, I was like, it's so strange that alcohol is the only drug where people are just like, why don't you do it? I'm like, why, why do you do it? It's so you know, rude. Like, I like, know. It's such a rude question. Like, it is a rude question. Like, you don't drink? Like, no, bitch, I don't fucking drink. Like, it's, it's okay if I don't drink. Like, I feel great. I don't wake yeah. up with a hangover. Like, I'm yep. not, you know, I don't feel like shit. Like, I don't need it. If you don't need it, you don't need it. And people shouldn't, judge you for not wanting to you know have that drug in your body and yeah. again i don't judge anybody that wants to do it like if my no. friends and stuff they want to have like a glass here and there that's on them i don't care like do your thing like i'm 100%. not judging you for it but why do people judge us for being sober it's crazy exactly bizarre. it is bizarre and but i think too when i used to drink and i saw sober people i, I would project my like it, I would be projecting on them, like, why don't you drink, loser? And now that I'm on the I other side of it, yeah. You're like, hey, you shake your mouth. And you're like, wait, I did that before. Yeah. I'm so sorry. <laughs> now you think about it, you're like, oh, fuck, you know. <laughs> but I was not well. I was so unhealed. I was so triggered all the time. And I was just self medicating. Yeah. And I was running from the relationship that I refused to heal with myself. It, I wasn't, mm. I couldn't do it. And, yeah. Like you, you, you gave me chills when you said it. You are thankful for your rock bottom. I am mm -hmm. so thankful for my rock bottoms because I am truly the happiest, most content I've ever been in my life. And I wouldn't get there if it wasn't for all the shit I've been through. Exactly. That I just feel like the women and men, of course, I'm not, you know, but yes. people who have been through that and have really seen the depths of what the bottom looks like and came yes. out of the like, I'm just so, like you telling your story, I'm so empowered by that. Like, that's so fucking cool that you did that. And I'm like, it makes me sad that you went through what you had to go through. But honestly, like, it made us the person that we are right now. Absolutely. And I'm like, so thankful for that. Ha <laughs> ha.